Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD and another Citrix video. It's basically a continuation of part one. Uh, a couple of things that I did behind the scenes, which I'm going to go over with you guys and I'm going to do a couple of things with you guys on this video. So I got my list of the stuff that I did and also the stuff that I'm going to do with you guys because, you know, I forget. Uh, the first things first, I think in the last video, um, my store my storefront uh, website I did as a HTTPS and it wasn't working because I didn't have a SSL certificate and that's on Zenap 02. I have it up and running, running uh, HTTPS and the way that I did it is I went inside my IIS, I went inside the node and within the node I went to uh, service certificates and I created a self-signed certificate. But most likely you guys can purchase an SSL and just import it inside your IIS. And then once I created my self-signed certificate, I went to the, the default website and I went into bindings and I basically just added uh, a type of HTTPS, port 443, because that's the port. And I just binded that SSL certificate to 443. And eventually you have to restart your IIS. Once you restart your IIS, your storefront is going to pick it up automatically. And that's when you get that green check mark. Awesome. Uh, the next thing that I did is I added another server. I added another Windows Server 2008 R2 into my infrastructure. I called it Zenap03. And on this one, I already installed the VDA, the Virtual Delivery Agent. I'm going to be adding that to the delivery controller pretty soon. I'm going to be adding the Zenap03 as well as our Windows 7 machine. And then behind the scenes, I install Chrome, Putty, Infraview, Notepad++, FileZilla, and VSL because these are the apps that I'm going to be publishing pretty soon using this virtual machine. Uh, so what I'm going to do with you guys is a couple of things. Oh, also within my Zen app, 03, I also install remote desktop services because it looks like there's a certain way that you have to install applications when you are using a server so i'm going to show you guys how to do that as well what else what else what else oh so let's get started so i'm going to show you guys a couple of things so let's get inside our zenap 01 and as you can see there's three steps that you guys have to follow in part one i did step one which was pretty simple behind the scenes i did part two uh machine catalog and i'm going to do another one for you guys so let's go inside machine catalog and then from here, we're just going to create a machine catalog. Uh, read this information. It's a nice little introduction. I'm going to click on next. I am going to do a server OS. My Windows 7 X64 was a desktop OS. Now I'm going to be doing the server OS. So I'm actually going to be adding my Zenap 03 on this. So let's click on next. Uh, most likely, when you guys get this dialog box, if you guys are using like uh, a Zen server or a vSphere or hyper-v kind of infrastructure and thing you most likely you're going to get this option but for me because i use no management on part one this is the reason why i'm getting this so i'm gonna leave everything as default so i'm gonna click on next and i'm going to add the computer and the computer would be b j dash a s zero three we're gonna check the name awesome we're gonna press ok and we're gonna go to next and we want to give uh, this a name. So I'm going to call it Windows Server 2008 R2 SP1. And this is going to be uh, server, uh, server for IT department. Right? OK. And click Finish. And it's basically going to add it right here. And that's how you create a machine catalog. So that's pretty awesome. So the next thing that we need to do to finish our three steps on configuring our delivery controller is creating a delivery group. So I'm going to click on Create a New Delivery Group and just click on Next. It says choose the number of machines for your delivery group. I'm going to pick my Windows 7 64 and I'm going to pick one. And let's click Next because I only have one machine inside the catalog. Most likely you have multiple, so you pick how many you want. Uh, you can use the machine in the catalog to deliver desktops or applications to your users. Now, because my Windows 7 has a bunch of applications that I installed, I'm going to do uh, applications for this, right? Let's do applications. Uh, click on Next. Add users or group. Now, I'm going to make my life super easy, and I'm just going to add domain users, right? Now, for best practice, most likely these applications that you're deploying 
are for specific departments, like for accounting or marketing or IT or whatever, right? But for my test environment, I'm just gonna shoot it out for everyone. And we're gonna press OK. And we're gonna click on Next. Now what's gonna happen is gonna go inside my Windows 7 machine and it's gonna locate all the applications. Again, my Windows 7 machine on part one, we installed the VDA, which is the virtual delivery agent. And if everything is working well, uh, you should see a list of all those applications. And I'm going to, let's look at the list. Let's look at the list. What do I want? Let's, uh, let's do Fazilla. let's do Chrome. Let's, uh, what else, what else, what else? Let's do Notepad. I'm gonna pick all the ones that I installed. Putty, definitely, I want Putty. And what else, what else, what else? And let's do VLC. And it's gonna install in this specific location. You can actually change it, but I'm gonna leave the default. And we're gonna click on next. Now it says the storefront, manually using a storefront server address that will be provide it later. Ah, see, I didn't add a storefront. So let's automatically using a storefront server below. So I'm going to add a new one. And the storefront server is bj-ax uh, zenap02. And this is my btnhd storefront. Let's spell storefront right. Okay. And the URL, it's, uh, I think my URL is bj-02 slash citrix btnhd. I think that's it. And we're going to press OK. It's contacting it. Hopefully it goes through. Awesome. It went through. Ooh, beautiful. So we're going to check it. Cool. And we're going to click on next. And let's give it a delivery group name. Let's say the IT department. And click on finish. It's going to create the delivery group. And look at that. We finished all three steps on our delivery controller. That's awesome. Let's go inside our delivery group node. Look at that. Awesome. Ooh, beautiful. Look at that. Uh, let's go inside our storefront node. And there goes our added storefront that we added during our uh, configuration of the delivery groups, which is cool. So the next thing that we're going to do, we're going to do two more things before I let you guys go. Uh, I want to go inside my uh, Zenapp 03. Uh, because again, when like I told you before, there's a certain way to install applications within servers, which is really weird. This is the whole point of having uh, remote desktop services. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So we're going to go to start. We're going to go to control panel. And within control panel, there's an option that says install applications on remote desktop servers. So we're going to click on that and just follow the prompts next. And we're going to browse to this application. I'm going to install Notepad++. So let's go inside the desktop. Click on that guy and open it and next and we're going to run it continue with the installation there you go agree all right next uh, next um no install and we're gonna run it awesome finish and we're gonna click finish and that's it done and that's how you install applications using this version i don't really know why you have to do it that way but it's, it's a really strange way to do it uh but for what i've been searching and reading that's the way that they kind of recommend installing applications uh, within a server when you're using RDS services. Okay. And the last thing I want to do is I want to add my zero three rather than applications. I want to do desktop. So let's go inside our, uh, delivery group and within my delivery group, let's create another delivery group. We're going to click on next. Uh, we only have one. So we're going to click on that because remember our windows seven is being used right now. So we're going to click on next. Uh, I want to do desktop. So this is a cool thing with a server. It allows you to do desktops and applications. I only want to do desktops for now and click on next, add a group. I am going to just add domain users for now, but best practice, most likely you have a specific group that's going to access this particular server or other things. And we're going to click next. We're going to add it to the storefront. Click next. Let's give it a name. This is for, uh, and this is optional. You don't have to add anything. So we're going to click finish on that. And that's it guys. Uh, so, so far what we've done with this video is I show you guys how to add the SSL, which I created a self signed one. Uh, we added a storefront within the delivery controller. We also, um, created two delivery groups. We created uh, another additional machine catalog, added another Zenapp server, 
And within that Zenapp server, I install the remote desktop services, which is pretty easy. Just follow the prompts within server manager. Uh, and if you guys are wondering what roles I picked, I'm going to show you guys what roles I picked. So let's get inside um, my Zenapp 03 and let's launch server manager. And within server manager, the roles of remote desktop, I didn't really install a lot. So the only thing I installed was the remote desktop session host. That's the only thing that I installed right now. On the next video, I'm going to show you more things. I just I just have to plan it out and start playing around with it. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget about hitting that like button because it does support the video as well as this guy. And it also tells me that you guys want me to push out more Citrix stuff because this is what I'm getting into right now. And I'm super excited about this topic. And uh, the more that I'm doing for myself and the more that I'm taking these notes and I'm going to push out these videos for you guys as soon as possible. Uh, again, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.